Well, Stevie Fulton and Billy Gibson in the engine room for Thistle as they chase what would only be a third home win from six games this season. Lee Hines and Juan Ramon Escalas up front. 4-4-2 for county boss Alex Smith, who was looking to McSwiggan and Higgins to breach the home defences. Charlie Adam and Sean Colgannon key in the midfield. Referee Kevin Toner, match commentator David McKinney. Match of the day for Football First. Pitches together, two teams searching for form. Just one win in the last seven league games for Thistle County, who contest next week's Bells Cup final, have one win in the last three. Long ball once more. Lee Hines has got pace. He's got Martin Canning beside him. Eskless in the middle. And Hines almost got away with that, but he'll take the corner kick. There's a lot of height in that thistle attack as the ball comes in. That's a great header. And what a save that was from Stuart Garden. Charlie Adam unable to find Kilgannon. This will pick up possession. Billy Gibson. Quick look up. Long ball forward. Hines trying to get there and does. Escalus. Escalus to that far side. Derek Fleming. Good left foot. Power in it, but hit the first defender. Here's Steve Fulton. Another good left foot. And he's forced inside. Gibson trying to thread it through. It comes from Escalus. What a goal! What a goal for Party Thistle! And that man, Juan Ramon Escalus, has done it again. The ball was played through to him. He still had somewhat to do. A stunning strike into the top corner for his tenth goal of the season. Martin Thistle lead by one goal to nil. Lachlan sends it long again. McSweegan's the target. Didn't get to him. Andy Dowie with a clearing header. But Kogannon will pick up now for County. A good cross in. It's away by the Thistle defence. Going as far as Charlie Adam. Pure pass from Adam. Eskilis picking up. Play on, no free kick, McCunney helped out by Adam now, he can shoot from there Charlie Adam, great effort as well, not too far away from the right hand post of Kenny Arthur, Stevie Fulton shipping it forward, looking for the pace of Hines, will not get there, making life difficult, he has got there Lee Hines, the opportunity again for Thistle, goal number two for Pocket Thistle, goal number two for Juan Ramon Escalas, and Thistle at the moment are on fire. But that one all down to the perseverance of Lee Hines. The ball seemed to be lost. He won it again. Played it back for Eskilis. He thrilled, drove the ball behind Stuart Garden for his second. For Party Thistle's second. And now Ross County have a mountain to climb here at Fir Hill. Be sure Alex Smith won't be happy with what he's seeing here this afternoon as McCunney takes charge now for County, sends it long, Higgins trying to get in the end of it, Thistle block it out, Charlie Adam, Higgins trying to turn, good turn too, opportunity, good effort and a good save from the keeper, in fairness it was all straight at Kenny Arthur. Eskilis clicks it on for Lee Hines, an opportunity for Thistle, Wide of the goals from Hines. McCunney flights it forward, looking for McSwigan. Doesn't win the ball in the air. Flicked on by Steve Fulton. Eskilis, Hines is with him, and that's for Hines, but it's cut out. Hines will pick it up again. Lee Hines, the shot and the turn. Good save by Garden. Now Stuart Garden had a fine save at the start of the first half. He's had a fine save at the start of the second half. Fleming sends it in, good one too, and it's off the line at the far post. Eskilis with a header, cleared at the far post. I think it was Jim Lachlan was there. Thistle can't get the ball back in, but they've won it once more. It is back in this time, and Dashi's there! 3-0, Party Thistle. Adrian Madashi had stayed up as the ball came back into the penalty area. The left foot from the Australian into the roof of the net. Stuart Garden absolutely helpless. It's all going to plan for Patrick Thistle this afternoon. McSwiggan picks up for Ross County. Kilgannon forward, Sean Higgins, the target, picks up, and now Don Cowie. Cowie with space to come forward and the space to shoot, and a good save from Kenny Arthur. This is Kenny Mill. 
Thistle having to rebuild once more. Hines. Steve Fulton's found some space. Shot with the left foot. Good one too. Goalkeeper was up to the challenge. Not quite the power. I wouldn't have thought Steve Fulton had wanted out the shot. This will go back for McCulloch again. And you really need the ball into the middle here, Ross County. It's in the middle now. It's away again. Rankin. Rankin looking to get the ball onto his left foot. Looking to shoot. Good one as well. Kenny Arthur. Unorthodox save, but it was good enough. Oni with a chance to run now at the defence. A chance now for Oni. That's goal number four for Party Thistle. Armand Oni. Powerful surge into the penalty area. The drive into the bottom corner. And that will wrap things up for the home side. It's been a great afternoon for Thistle. That's nicely done by Sean Higgins. He's got players with him as well. Higgins going himself, a good effort. And that's a great save. Kenny Arthur, down to his right, pushed the ball wide of the post, and that the best effort we've seen from Ross County this afternoon. There's the final whistle at Fair Hill. It's one of the best performances of the season from Barthet Thistle. 2 0 up at half time, thanks to two goals from Eskalis and Adrian Madashi, and then Armand Oni made it three and then four. And not the preparation Ross County were looking for ahead of the Coca Cola Cup final next week. Final score Barthet Thistle, four. Ross County nil. Jamie, a good win for you this afternoon. Was that perhaps your best performance of the season? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, another clean sheet at home is always good, but uh, to win is uh, marvellous. In a sense, were you surprised at, at the 4 0 scoreline? Because Ross County uh, are a difficult team to beat. They're a good side, um, but as I say, we've been doing well at home in the last couple of games. So I think we've been threatening it for a few weeks, and it's, you know, it's finally good to, to get the win. I take it overall, Alec, you're, you're hoping that this is essentially a one off today. I know it's a one off. Uh, I mean, it may happen again in the future, but. Uh, uh, what happened today is something that's not been akin to us now for a while. I mean, we've lost a few games this season with the 1-0 and been able to say we were a bit unfortunate. But today, I thought the best team won. Derek White and Tony Haggerty with me here in the studio. Derek, uh, where does that performance rate for you in terms of the rest of the season? I think um, that was our best performance of the season. I think, as listening to Jamie there, it has been threatening for a few, a few weeks there, Jim. Uh, the pleasing aspect for us, we were losing, losing too many goals earlier on in the season. We seem to have addressed that, uh, three clean sheets at home now. Um, but uh, the club are not going too carried away with it. It's a, it's a three points and it gets us a wee bit but, uh, pegging back uh, the guys that love us in the league. And uh, it was a really pleasing aspect for the fans and everybody as well because they're expecting, their expectations are high there. Mm. Um, but it was really pleasing to get a result of that yesterday. Tony, it looked a pivotal match for both sides in terms of the rest of the season. So you can see why Alex Smith is so clearly disappointed with his team's performance. Oh, he'll be gutted because I don't think they've given many anything. They've had a couple of shots at goal, but that was when the game was done and dusted. Uh, Thistle, great one for Thistle, but I always felt that Thistle were threatening to get a result like that in the weeks that they never got a decent result. And uh, they've just never had the luck, but yesterday they were well worth that emphatic victory. Threatening to get that kind of result, Derek? Uh, we have been, Jim. I think um, like we played Clyde last week and drew with them. Uh, people saying it was, we should have won the match um, in terms of chances created. But Clyde are, are a good side as well. Um, but the police thing was a clean sheet. And sometimes when you don't score in a game, it's important you do keep that clean sheet in the defence, not just at the back four or the back three. As a team, we've defended better uh, over the last few weeks. And when, you've got, when you get clean sheets like that, you've always got a chance. Four excellent goals, and when we see this first one from Escalas, yeah. I think you were even surprised seeing it on yeah. the replay. We don't, also don't get a rerun of it, that's magnificent. We see Juan doing it day in, day out in training. Uh, he's got a great touch, great technique. He just managed to get out of his feet here, and that's a great finish. And at any, le any level, any league, that's a great finish. Lee Hines does very, very well here. At first, I thought maybe a foul, but just shows great body strength. And, and uh, uh, Juan Ramon uh, uh, Scalaz has got a great finish of his left foot. He had an opportunity last week against Clyde, and if there was anybody in the box, he just felt he would want it to fall to him. Unfortunately, it was his right foot, and the keeper hit the keeper's leg and came out. But yesterday, he was he was magnificent. And and two two more goals for the fans to enjoy as well. Yeah, Second half. that was great. I mean, a four 0 victory is always great for the fans to. But we just wanted to win the match yesterday. Very unusual to see Big Adrian Madashi <laughs> up there. He's just got a great connection on it. I think the defender at the back stick with Canning gets a wee touch on it, but good timing from Adrian. 
still in the, in the box. It was a corner before that, so it was a, it was a great finish. And Tony, the big man, Oni, going in here as well, showing yeah, great skill. Yeah, great solo run, and when you do that, you have to finish it off, and he's finished it off well there, yeah. 21, Derek says. He's only 21, Jim, and it's incredible. Do you believe him? Uh, <laughs> a wee bit of dodgy passport maybe there, but I think not. I think overall, he's only a 21. He's still a young young kid, uh, a young guy, and he's learning the game. And he's a bit raw at times, but that, he's cap well capable of doing that. I just try to get out of him more consistently. Great result for you, but still the gap, 11 points. Is it closable? It is, yes. I mean, no time would be... I wouldn't be foolish enough to say... We never stated at the start of the season we're going to go and win the league. There's an expectation as to do that. Um, but if we are challenging, we still think we are capable of challenging. In the last month of the season, if we're up there challenging, I'll be fairly happy, and I'm sure the fans will, that we, at least we're going to challenge and try and win the title. There's loads and loads of games to go. There's only 12 games played, and a lot of football will be played still. Gentlemen, we'll talk more later.